Hi friends. It is one of those days when I am not gonna wanna cook at the end, so I know I need to get it going now. I have one cup of uh, whole milk. Uh, the original recipe that um, I'm working off of calls for um, whole cream, but whole milk is best, I think. That's, it's rich enough, and I'm gonna put coconut milk into this curry, and so honestly, that's gonna be enough. I'm putting two big um, helpings of tomato paste in with 14 ounces of chopped tomatoes, and they're going in the bottom of the crock pot. Uh, in they go, right? I like to keep the rest of a can of tomato paste in a pimento jar. I find that's the perfect size for that. I've got three tablespoons of curry, a tablespoon of masala, and um, a half a, a teaspoon of um, ginger. And those are gonna be my spices. And um, they're gonna be yummy. And I'm gonna get them going on the bottom in the paste almost so that they're gonna warm up to start. Mm. Yep, those are yummy flavors. Okay, I've got prepped. I've got prepped probably about 10 ounces of white mushrooms, um, uh, a gold, uh, orange, bell pepper, a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, three carrots, one potato, one medium onion. We like our curries to be really vegetable forward. So we've got that, all of that. We're gonna mix that in with our seasonings and our tomatoes and our tomato paste and get them covered in all of that yumminess then, oh yeah, then I've got one chicken breast frozen cut up. Um, and I'm gonna salt and pepper that. That in there. Now, the chicken is going to give some juice out. So we don't need a ton of chicken broth, but I am gonna put probably about a half a cup of chicken broth in the pot in this bowl because I think it'll give it a little richness and a little more chicken flavor, but also um, I have it in the cupboard, so let's use it. Don't wanna waste it, right? So there's that. Get those, get the chicken, stir it in with the veg. This is, um, I'm not doing more than one chicken breast because I don't want this to feed us forever. I'm looking for this to feed us this evening, maybe tomorrow's lunch, over brown rice will be good. Um, so that's that. And the last thing, can of coconut milk. Now, for a long time, I was afraid of coconut milk. Um, and I like coconut, but I don't know if I just thought it was gonna taste way too coconutty. Um, if that just kind of scared me, or I don't know, but it put me off coconut milk and it didn't make me want um, to put it in my curries. And while we've been quarantined, I thought, you know, um, if I did, garbanzo beans in a curry sauce. Maybe I would just try that with uh, coconut milk and see how that goes. And I gotta tell you, I'm in love, absolutely in love. It barely tastes like coconut and it adds such a richness to this dish and to the other curries that I've been using in that I'm just not going back. So that's it. That's it, four and a half minutes. A little prep with the veg and the chicken um, and can opening, but that's it. I'm gonna put it in my crock pot. I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm gonna go 
on with my day. And at some point when we come back from our afternoon walk, the house is gonna smell phenomenal and we'll be ready. Tune in, hope that you have something yummy that you're gonna eat today. And I wonder, do you have a favorite crock pot recipe? I'd love to know what your signature dish in the crock pot is. Comment in the com or comment below. Bye friends.